Hey guys, this is Mark with iAppleTech One Tweet, and welcome back to another coding video. In this one, we're going to be showing you how to sandbox your app for Mac App Store submission. This is required in order to submit your app to the Mac App Store. Apple just requires you're just kind of agreeing that you're doing sort of stuff. Um, it's really easy, no coding. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So you want to go into your main project. So I'm in Jotspot Lite. Um, so you can see up here that's selected. It should look like this window right here. Then we want to go ahead and hop over to Capabilities. And um, this is what it will look like. Yours will say off. Um, and what you want to do is just go ahead and click that, turn it on, and then we'll go ahead and expand it and then see if you have any of these things. So if you are using a framework some, such as Paddle, which we've gone over before, something that's sending an outgoing server um, using the internet to be able to track analytics, you'll need to go outgoing connections. If it's pulling something in, such as a server, incoming connections, um, it's you really have to know that sort of stuff. Then it will vary based on your app for this stuff right here. Um, so for camera, Jotspot Light is just a text editing app. It doesn't use your camera or your microphone. USB, not really. You can throw a Jotspot Light document on USB, but it doesn't open files from there. You have to manually drag it. It can print from the app, so I check that. Um, app data, it does not access contents, location, or calendar. And then the way you save files with um, Jotspot Light different than most documents. You kind of have to manually save it. It's not like the command S sort of stuff and it's done. Um, so if you have a if you have a document-based app, you probably want to say something for these. Um, I guess I could say user selected folder. Um, on mine would be read only because you can't write. You have to create another copy. Um, so I guess I could say read only for that one. Um, and then it doesn't have a default one, default folder. Um, it only accesses that if you want it to, um, which would be user selected folder. So I don't need to say anything for downloads, pictures, movies, or music. And that's pretty much it. Once you do enable it, you'll see our entitlements right here um, with all the information right there. But that's pretty much it. It's that quick and easy. If you liked it and it helped you out, feel free to leave it a like as it will always help us out. And hit that subscribe button for more coding videos. Thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Mark with Apple Tech 128 and have a great day.